Hey, Avena Nation, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to Beta Day 4, and today is a very exciting day. The Dark Tower movie finally is coming out. I don't give, you know, I don't give a crap what the critics are saying. Today is the day I've been waiting 13 years for. I'm super excited, and I can't wait to share with you guys my thoughts and opinions on the film. But right now, I'm heading out to the first showing of Stephen King's The Dark Tower. I am so happy right now. Sorry I'm so close to the, the camera. Um, I have work to do so I can't be long but uh, I wanted to give my honest opinion and reaction to this. Um, just got home a little while ago from seeing The Dark Tower. It was amazing. Um, it's It baffles my mind. I kind of feel the same way I did after seeing Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad. Um, it was a great film. On both those films were amazing as well. I don't understand where the criticism is coming from. Um, I was commenting to my family who went and saw it with me. Um, I feel like people nowadays need a reason to complain and to be bothered by something. And I feel like people have stopped going to the movies just to enjoy themselves and for not looking for a perfect movie. Um, the movie, The Dark Tower, was not a perfect film. Uh, it wasn't like the best film of all time ever made. It's, I'm not saying it's like an award-worthy worthy film. But I thoroughly enjoyed it and I think it was a really well-made film. And um, it, was, it was so great. Uh, the acting was superb. Um, one of the things that people have been complaining about that I actually enjoyed, well, a couple things. Um, the number one complaint I've heard so far has been the runtime. It's a 95 minute film, and the the book or the the movie is based on an eight book series, thousands of pages. Um, and so people, I don't know why, but people went into it assuming that. With all that material, it was going to be like a three-hour movie. Um, now, they could have could have um, made like a half hour worth of extra film to create the entire backstory. Uh, but here, there's a couple problems with that for me. Uh, that would have kind of taking over some of the, the responsibility from the television show they're planning, which is going to be exploring Idris Elba's character when he was becoming a gunslinger and before the fall of the gunslingers. And also, um, I feel like sometimes movies can lag when they focus on that. And they kind of did uh, a similar thing with Batman v Superman, where except for showing... Uh, that his parents murder Bruce Wayne's parents murder um, they really didn't go into how he became Batman he was already Batman and that's kind of what they did in the Dark Tower is they threw you right into the action verb from the very first scene uh, when you get into this movie the first few scenes Matthew McConaughey is already doing his evil plan and Idris Elba already a gunslinger things have happened and uh you know, it really was an enjoyable thing for me. Uh, I think that it was well made. I think it was perfect to uh, not dwell on over telling the backstory. It gave enough glimpses for you to want more. And I think that's what part of the point was probably for the film. Not only am I wanting to see this television series now, but I want to see more films. Um, it was really well done. The kid, they got to play Jake. Tom Taylor, I believe his name is. Um, was amazing. I like When I closed my eyes and I pictured Jake when I read the books, this is the kid I imagined. And I didn't even know who this kid was until I saw that he was cast. Um, but he looks and acts just like I imagined Jake Chambers would act. Um, the Dark Tower, for those of you who don't know, is based on Stephen King's magnum opus, his 
eight book series. Um, I read this book when I was, or I read this series when I was first 13 years old. Um, this book series is what inspired me to become a writer in the first place. And it's my favorite Stephen King work of all time. It's my favorite book series of all time. Now, I've read the comments and the reviews um, of people who are both not fans of the book who, or who have never read it and longtime fans. Um, I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on it. Idris Elba is Roland Deschain. Like, you know, when you read the books, I think a lot of people always just assumed he was a white guy and that, you know, it was going to be more of a Clint Eastwood type of actor. But I think that Idris has proved them wrong because <laughs> his performance in this film kind of solidified him being the gunslinger. And it really proved that race doesn't matter. Um, he could have been Hispanic or Asian as well because really it's not about the skin color of the actor. It's about what the actor does with the character itself. And he embodied Roland is chain to the letter. I mean, he was Roland through and through. So was Jake Chambers. The kid who played Jake was Jake Chambers. And Matthew McConaughey was a good, creepy, but he wasn't scary. He was more like uh, skin crawling. Like he was just like really like you steer clear of him on the street. Um, you know, smooth talker. Um, and I really liked his approach because he was just confident the whole time. Like, he acted and was villainous to the point where you kind of got the sense that he knew things that everyone else didn't. And that's what always intrigued me about the Man in Black in the books. And I think he really brought that creepiness to life. Um, I really loved the the beginning formation of the father-son bond that Roland and Jake have throughout the book series. Um, you know, they didn't play into that throughout the whole movie, but there are certain points towards the end of the film where your, your heart was, you know, swelling from seeing this, you know, hardened gunslinger finally opening up and embracing his true destiny because of this kid because this kid helped him realize who he really is and uh, seeing him uh, teach Jake uh, at one point in the movie he, he teaches Jake uh, how to shoot and it's very reminiscent of a scene I imagined in my head for years uh, when Roland first began teaching Jake how to be a gunslinger um, I'm not going to spoil the film's plot or the ending because I want everyone to go see it themselves. Um, but honestly, it was everything I could have hoped for more. The most interesting part to me is that it's not a direct adaption. It's a sequel to the books. And what people don't necessarily, I think, want to wrap their heads around is that it's not going to follow the book letter by letter and I kind of actually enjoy that because to me those books are always going to be a precious thing to me those always those books are always going to be a special special series that no amount of film or television is ever going to be able to fully capture perfectly they could have done a, a word for word film that followed the first book in the series and kept going for going like most book adaptions do but what's really interesting to me is they, and a minor spoiler for those of you who haven't read the books and don't know anything about the movie or the book series. So, spoiler alert here. The book series ends with the the gunslinger, the main character in this eight book saga, um, getting to the Dark Tower. Climbing throughout the whole Dark Tower to the very top of the tower. Only to find out that... He has been on a never-ending loop uh, in time. When he gets to the, tar the top of the Dark Tower, he's sent back to the beginning with no memory of the journey whatsoever. 
Um, but the book ends with a little glimmer of hope that the cycle might be broken and it's given by an artifact. In the book series, it's called the, the Horn of Eld. And in the book, it ends with this powerful object being enrolled in its possession when throughout the whole series, uh, it was kind of known that it had been lost during this big battle where all the other gunslingers died. So that's how the book series ended. And in this movie, you get to see Roland and Eater Zelba walking around with the horn on him on his back. And you kind of got to realize that this is a continuation of the series. And how often do you get that? How often do you get to have the story that you love so much continue on and get new stories being told to you? I mean, it's really quite remarkable. You get a lot of Stephen King references from other more of his books like uh, It and The Shining. You also get a lot of references to different characters from different Dark Tower books being mentioned in this and being portrayed. Um, you get a lot of new characters, like you get to really uh, explore Jake Chambers' relationship with his mother, which uh, Catherine Winnick, who plays Lagertha on Vikings, she played Jake Chambers' mom, and she was actually really good in this. I enjoyed her role a lot. But yeah, this was a phenomenal script. Um, and you can really tell, for at least to me, that the actors and the director really put their passion for the series that Stephen King wrote into the roles and into the story. Um, and it leaves off with uh, a yearning to see more. Um, like I said, it wasn't perfect. There could have been um, a slightly more uh, explanation in places. But overall, it was an enjoyable film, and I think that's what people miss out on nowadays. Um, films should not be overanalyzed. Um, they don't always have to be thought-provoking or the best movie ever made. Um, it was just an enjoyable experience. And for 13, 14 years now, I've been waiting for this book series to be adapted. And it was everything I could have hoped for and more. So, those are my th first thoughts and reactions to this film. I hope you enjoyed this Veda Day 4. If you did, please leave a comment below. Let me know, did you see The Dark Tower or have you read the books? And if so, what did you think? You know, the main thing I want to point out to you guys is everyone has their own opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I know not everyone is going to like this film. It's kind of like the, the Harry Potter books and movies. I personally... I've never read the Harry Potter books, and I wasn't really interested in seeing the films or reading the books. But I respect the fans of those books because they probably loved those films, and there's more power to them. And they're not bad films, they're just not films I'm interested in. So to me, the Dark Tower film was amazing, and I hope you guys will not just take my opinion for it. I hope you'll go into the movie theaters this weekend or in the weeks to come. And really have an open mind. Ignore all the critics. Ignore all the bad reviews and tweets and all that. Ignore all the good tweets too. Because I want you guys to go into it with an open mind and a blank slate. And just enjoy the film for what it is. So yeah, leave your comments down below. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Um, I want to let you guys know if you guys haven't been following me on my blog. Make sure to do so because later on tonight I'm going to be writing an extensive review of the Dark Tower film. And posting it on my blog. So I hope you guys will go check that out. And that's everything guys. Thank you so much for hanging with me today. Tomorrow is going to be a book review I believe. Of another book. Uh, I hope you guys will enjoy it. And I'm going to get going. I have some work to do. So you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching Veda Day 4. And I will see you for Veda Day 5 tomorrow. Remember keep hashtag hope alive of being a nation. And I'll see you next time. In the words of the gunslinger. Long days and pleasant nights my friends. Thank <laughs> you.